Hey guys, it's Alice. So today I am going to be joined with a very special guest. As you can tell from the title, my mum is going to be joining me for this video. I have actually been asked by Always to do a little girl talk Q&A chat about periods, taboos, and I've asked for your questions over on Instagram, so we're gonna go through them and have a little natter. As you guys probably already know, I've been working with Always on their End Period Poverty campaign. If you haven't already seen it, I posted a poem a couple of months ago, which I will insert on screen, and that was to raise awareness of period poverty. And I'm actually really proud of that poem. I've not written a poem since like GCSE English, which was a long time ago. So yeah, I was very proud of the poem and with every like and comment on that photo We actually donated product to girls who needed period protection And I didn't really know much about period poverty before always asked me to be on board with this campaign And it just blew my mind hearing these statistics that thousands of girls miss school every single day across the UK because of period poverty because they can't afford period protection and they're too embarrassed to go to school without any. And a lot of the girls who were surveyed have also said that this has a direct effect on them later on in life, which is just so unfair. So Always have actually recently partnered up with Tampax to raise awareness of this issue and also drive donations. So there is something you guys can do to help out. I actually recently posted another Instagram photo, which is here. And if you go over to that Instagram, photo comment on it and like on it and like on it and like it and for every like and comment that Instagram post gets always or Tampax will donate a product to a girl in need via the red box project and also for every pack of always ultra always platinum Tampax pearl or compact pearl purchased in Tesco stores between the 8th of March and the 21st of April, a product will be donated directly to a student in need. So as well as liking that Instagram post, you can also go into Tesco stores and purchase a product and a product will be donated alongside it. So I'm gonna call my mum in and we're gonna get this period myth busting chat down into session. I'm way too excited about this, can you tell? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Fancy seeing you here. I know. Here's my mum. This is my mum. She's called Karen. I love her a lot. <laughs> Let's go to your questions. Should my vagina have a smell? Yes. yes. Like, everyone has a smell of some sort. It changes depending on the time of the month. It's your vagina's way of cleaning itself. Um, and it's all healthy. If it is a different smell to usual, maybe get checked out because there could be something a little bit... Maybe there's an infection or something there. But in general, yes. You yes, can have a smell. Definitely. I totally just answered that question for you, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, that, that's fine. Did I cover that one all right, you were You did a good job there, love. Thank I you. taught you well. <laughs> Thank you. Should you stick to one project? Project? Product. Should you stick to one product? No. It's not necessary to use a tampon if it's just a light day. Yeah. Well, personally, the products I use, I use... When I'm in the house, in my office doing work, I'll just use a pad because I just think it's more comfortable. But when I'm out, I feel more comfortable with a tampon. So I'll take a tampon and a panty liner out. Yeah. And then when it gets to like the end of my period, I'll just use like a panty liner. Yeah. How did you become more confident in talking about periods? To who? To anyone, to like friends and family. I think for me, it kind of came with growing up a bit. Like when I was at school, I started my period when I was 11. So I was quite early on and I didn't think any of the other girls at school had. So we didn't really talk about it. But then as we got older, it was just like, oh, yeah, I'm on my period. Like, have you got a pad? I forgot mine, you know? Yeah, I think it's just that initial saying it for the first time. You're not, you've not. you got to remember that everybody, every lady, every girl at some point is going to feel like you feel. Mm. I remember having to ask a teacher at school for pads once because I came on and I'd not got any. And I was so embarrassed, but the way she handled it was amazing. She was just like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, just help yourself over there. Like, she yeah. didn't make a big fuss of it. She didn't like, oh, my God, are you okay? She was just like, oh, yeah, grab grab some over there. That's good. Yeah. Didn't you say you had, like, a weird experience with the talk at school? Yes. People of my era might remember you having a book corner at primary school. The teacher, we played netball at the time, and there was a the teacher that taught was netball netball and it was girls only somehow she it was decided that she was going to be the one that spoke to us about periods but we were told that if the boys asked we had to say we were having a discussion over new netball skirts <laughs> so it was like we were told 
not, not to, to talk tell, yeah. about what we'd been talking about. We could go home and tell mums, but if the boys asked, we had to say we were having a discussion. And this went on for quite a few weeks. It wasn't just a one-off. Oh. How do you deal with boys who take the piss about periods? For example, you're so moody, is it your time of month? I, personally... <laughs> used to uh i was quite blunt about it at school if i'm gonna say something i'd say it um and i'm still the same um and i remember a boy being like oh why are you so moody like is it your time of month just being like aggy and annoying so i'd be like do you want me to kick you in your balls every day for a week every month and then you'd also be very moody i was very blunt about it i was like it's like getting a kick in the balls every day (laughs) and then you'll know what it feels like yeah i don't remember because well the boys weren't educated no the boys weren't educated so they wouldn't know if it was my time of the month because they didn't get told that that's what happened that's so strange what's your worst period story primary school again (laughs) yeah surprised you can remember (laughs) i was about 11 and a half i I still can i can still see this skirt elasticated waist and browns and oranges flowers didn't you have uniform no and i had this skirt on and this boy said oh what you've been sat in and then I realised that my sanitary towel must have leaked. So I just said that I'd been, oh, I must have sat in that paint or something. <laughs> Went to the toilet, got changed and then swivelled my skirt round so it was at the front. And <laughs> just, But because boys weren't told, what it, was. it wouldn't have an idea what it was anyway. And then I do remember one other situation when I was at high school. I was only in high school where I lived for a year and then I had to move. To this shorts that you wore for PE were really tight and like we'd call them hot pants oh. and I just felt so embarrassed that I've got a son I just thought everybody could see and nobody can see no you're overthinking you it aren't you yeah when I used yeah. to go to dancing we'd have to wear like tights and leotards and stuff and I remember being worried about people being able to see and obviously these tights are like baby pink colored <laughs> tights all the girls used to like have each other's back and would yeah. be like We'd say VPL, visible panty liner. And we'd VPL, and you'd just go, no, you're good, and just check. <laughs> we'd like add each of us backs, which I think was nice. Yeah. My, I think my most embarrassing period story was actually quite recently. It was when I was at Summer in the City. I was wearing like a collot jumpsuit so, thing. Yeah. And it had, it was like dark blue, but it had light flowers on it. And I was on my period, typical, when I had a very busy week. And I didn't have chance to change my tampon, so I'd leaked. And stupidly, I'd not got a panty liner on, so it literally went through. And I had the biggest patch of, like, period blood leakage on my trousers. And I had it there for, like, when we were in the restaurant, I realised afterwards. So I went back to the hotel that night and I soaked my clothes in, like... I got loads of salt packets from the hotels. (laughs) Um, I literally just went up to the woman at the reception and went, you got some salt? (laughs) And I got loads of salt packets, put it all in the sink, cold water, and I just dunked my... um, my new collot jumpsuit in there because I was so annoyed because it was brand new and I'd leaked all over it. The difference between the products now, they are so slimline and when I was, they just weren't. You had this horrendous like suspender belt with a strap down the front and the back with hooks on and then the towels, the, I'm What, so it had hook onto your, on the belt thing? Yeah, so like the towels must have been like this long and they were like that <laughs> and they'd got... <laughs> bit exaggerating mum I weren't exaggerating <laughs> and they've got loops on them I'm sure if you google it you'll find them um, and you had to you hooked Hook it on one and the other on the, and one on the other and like now obviously they're nothing like that you can't even tell when people have got them on when people have got them on I bet that was a right mission when you went to the toilet it must have been yeah. it must have been horrendous so you're already traumatised because you don't know what's going on with your body and, and then, then you've got and to work told out you can't tell boys and then you've got to work out how to wear these and it's just I'm glad I didn't grow up when you did. Like, and then being told, what about having baths? Well, of course you can have a bath. Just when you get back out of the bath, just be aware well, that you need to put a pad, pad on, on, straight, on straight away. On straight away, but yeah. Okay, different kind of question. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with PMT? So being grumpy, basically, before you have a period. I I don't think I've ever suffered from it that bad. I'm sure Dad I'm would sure disagree. I'm sure my husband will disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Dad in. Dad? I can, I can, <laughs> sometimes... I can feel myself getting angry. I feel like you cry. You don't get angry. You just get upset at stuff. Yeah, really silly things make me cry. How would you deal with it, though? I just embrace it. Embra- I'm like, yeah, whoever I'm no... with probably knows that that's why. There's no point in stopping it. There's just go with the flow, Yeah, literally. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Punny. <laughs> Mum. 
I appreciated yeah. that. <laughs> and what do you do about period cramps? I get in the bath. I use a hot water bottle. Now it tends to be the ones that you can heat up in the microwave. Oh, yeah, like a wheat bag. Like thing. a wheat bag. I eat some chocolate. Feel sorry for myself. <laughs> chocolate helps with everything so oh yeah take some medicine Med- painkillers yeah. or whatever don't suffer thinking oh it's it's a woman's thing and it happens every month i've just got to put up with it you don't have to put up with it no. there's there's things that can be done yeah so if they are having like infrequent periods or it's heavy or it's painful and it just happens too often or whatever go speak to your doctor yeah. because there's usually a way around it and you don't have to put up with it no oh my god can you remember the first time i used a tampon yeah (laughs) well okay so i went on a school trip i started my period when i was 11 um and right at the beginning i just used pads because that's what i was comfortable with so i'm in this like shared dormitory room thing with like bunk beds and i like got my period and i was like oh no (laughs) what do i do so i went into this bathroom thing bear in mind we were in rural france and i was getting myself in a fluster so i rang my mum all the way from france like mum i don't know what i thought she could do but i mean if in doubt ring your mum meanwhile because we we're in rural france there was a field of sheep behind me like loads of sheep just going <laughs> behind me and i was just like having a panic moment whilst the sheep in the background <laughs> honestly it was a bit of a nightmare i've actually really enjoyed having this little chat with my mum don't forget to go and like that instagram post have you liked my instagram post of course so yeah make sure you go over and like that instagram and comment on it too because for every like or comment on it tampax or always are going to donate a product to girls in need via the red box project so yeah, thanks for being on my channel, Mum. I don't know if I'm going to do this again very often. <laughs> Honestly, she's been such a diva. Me, <laughs> as if. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for listening, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you very, very soon for another one. Bye. Bye.